what's up you guys so i'm gonna just jump into this video really quick because i know i look crazy you know what i'm saying i i do i know i look crazy and this is actually my natural hairline so because you guys are like did it get pushed back from wigs no it did not it's just that it's i've told you guys many times i have a long head which i hate but you know i make me a new hairline all the time i just bring it down a little bit so you know so i got this wig from a company called bay hairs and it's really cute, you know what I'm saying? It's like a loose type of wave. I think it's a loose wave or a water wave. Um, you know, it is a virgin curly wave, human hair, Brazilian, 360 lace front, 200% density, 22 inches, and the price of it is actually $293. But I will leave you guys with some coupon codes, you know, you don't have to get 200% density, you don't have to get 22 inches, and you don't even have to get a silk top, which I don't, and you don't have to get a 360. You can always customize it and make it much shorter and a whole lot cheaper. From what I have experienced from the hair so far, it does have like a really nice texture and luster to it. It has a very, very loose curl. So if this is supposed to be curly, it's very, very loose. Okay, so I do have my curling wand on standby uh if you really want the waves to pop or the curls to pop you can get yourself like a nice little hanger or clips and just clip it upside down so that way the water will drip upside down and the curls will shrink up which will give you much more volume to the hair it does come with the combs inside of the cap right here and then there is the middle panel which is a stretch and then in the back oh i didn't even notice this wig has two combs in the back hello this is the first wig company that i ever messed with that had two combs in the back it's about time. They care about us. So I'm going to cut the lace off of this real quick. And then I'm going to just put this on and style her, curl her, and all that. Good. Right, all right, all right. So let's do this, you guys. So I don't really even know why I'm going to explain this. Because it's really self-explanatory. You guys have seen me do like a million and one videos. So, you know, I did go and cut the lace off around the back, the nape area prior, you know, a second ago. Because I really couldn't cut the back nape lace off without seeing it you know so i cut that part off so we're just gonna get our little scissors like normal we're gonna cut the front hairline lace off that is the most important thing girl unless you really want to be wearing the lace on your wig outside then hey to each his own now this part right here like i tell you guys a million and five times is optional but i really think you should do it like you know Make sure you get you some sideburn hairs. Now, so you see that little piece of lace that I'm cutting off right here? This is crucial. Even though it's just a small piece, you know what I'm saying? You still make sure to cut it off because if you don't, girl, let me tell you, your wig might not fit properly. The wig might not lay properly. People might know that you got some lace still on your wig. You know what I'm saying? So you want to make sure that every little piece of lace that is not needed is cut off because it makes a world of difference. Now this portion right here of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the sideburn hairs because I don't really want them too long and I'm going to adhere my wig and my sideburn hairs with the Got To Be Glam Force 48 Hour Holding Spray. I love it. Like it dries really fast and I actually love it. But before I go any further, I do need to make sure that my wig is adhered to my face. So I'm going to take some more of that hairspray and I'm just going to spritz it all around. It dries really, really quick. So if you don't have a blow dryer like you see me using right here, girl don't even worry about it just press your rat tail comb into the lace like you see me doing and just let it air dry but the main key to this or the main thing to this if you don't have a blow dryer you're gonna let it air dry just do little sections at a time don't just start spraying all around the entire wig and now you got the whole thing sprayed with hairspray you know and then one side dries uneven so just spritz in a little bit of section so that way it can air dry and just use your rat tail comb to press into the lace and if you do have a blow dryer then girl gets to blowing okay i like to use the blow dryer because it does dry the product quickly even though it does take like a minute or two to dry you can definitely use a blow dryer i like the way it allows the hairspray to cure so i do like to use um a blow dryer and i use it on cool to medium heat and then i'll just spritz a little bit of hairspray onto my brush and my ends and my hair and i'll just sculpt it and just blow dry it down like i'm doing again you guys this is so easy i really prefer the blow dryer and the hairspray to hold my wig down now i'm going to cut me in some baby hair so if you guys want some baby hairs then you know what i always say do what you want to do do i say that always no i don't 
but do what your heart desires okay but for my baby hairs or wispy hairs i don't want them too long and i don't need a lot so i'm just going to trim them down to my preference and you know i'm going to get the styling but i will say this some like to use larger scissors some like to use small scissors i think like the small scissors are perfect for little projects like this and when i call it a little project meaning you got to cut the lace off you got to cut the baby hairs these are little projects we're not really styling the hair so i think like a little brush is great now you didn't see me do this but i did take some of the hairspray and i sprayed it directly on my toothbrush so that way i don't have to spray any more hairspray onto the lace or into or onto any of the hairs that I really don't want to have sprayed. And I just take that toothbrush and I'll just sculpt it and sculpt it and try to sculpt it. As you guys see right here, I'm having like an issue. Sometimes things don't work out to my expectations. But like I said right here, repeat the styling on the opposite side. So once I did that, you see my baby hairs are kind of like perfect finally. I'm just going to find out where I'm going to part this. And I'm sitting here talking to my husband. And he's kind of like confusing me of what side I want my hair to be parted on. So please forgive me if I'm going back and forth. So as I am showing you guys, the knots came out really nice in this unit. I bleached the knots with um, the Salon Pro Bleach and I used the 30 Cream Developer. Now just to make my part pop, really pop, you know, train the hair. I'm just going to take some of the Got To Be Fantastic, Fantastic. Um, collagen mousse and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that into the part I'm gonna take my blow dryer and straighten the hair you can use a hot comb if you have one but sometimes I like to use the blow dryer because for one the hair is loose wave or curly so I really don't want to hot comb the entire hair so I'm just gonna take the blow dryer and this works just as well and you just take a little bit of mousse or you can take a slick stick or one of those waxing sticks either or and you can just take your blow dryer if you have one with a nozzle and just press into your head now mind you don't put the heat on too high because you will feel the heat so I still use cool to medium heat and I'm gonna just do that all around the hairline the edges and that's about it now as I was saying this wig is like a curly unit but there's not enough curls in it for me so I'm gonna just take my really thin wand curler because it's interchangeable it has eight different sizes and I'm just going to twist the hair as I wrap it around and as soon as I get to the very end of the hair I'm just going to pull it off as you see me here this will give you like some little beachy waves as you guys see me doing so I'm just going to twist as I twist I'm wrapping it around so as I'm wrapping it around I'm twisting it and and I'm just pulling it right off because I don't want the waves or the curls to be too tight you know what I'm saying I want them to be a little bit loose so that's the reason why I just pull it right off just yank it right off girl just yank it right off and it doesn't have to be perfect you don't have to part it I'm just taking it in sections section by section so that way you know what I'm saying it's not perfect I don't want the curls to be uniform I don't want them to all be the same size I just want it to have like a curl pattern a little bit more body now you can actually just hang the wig upside down and you'll get more waves but unfortunately I didn't do that for this one I totally forgot so that is the reason why maybe I don't have as many curls but I do think like if you hang it upside down you'll get so much body and volume and this goes with body wave hair loose wave hair curly hair I wouldn't advise to do it with kinky hair because it's not really gonna work but any type of silky kind of textured hair it'll definitely work but just get you a very small barrel curler and just wrap it around even for hair that doesn't have like curl texture you can do the same method with and you'll get nice beachy kind of waves and nice loose curls so yeah you guys let's just finish this up and we'll get into the rest of the video Girl, let me tell y'all, if it say curly and loose curly, I really would like some curl. Like, so the curls were really loose. Like, to me, this is like a very loose wave, not a curly unit. Um, as you guys see, these are my curls that I created. It's super easy. As soon as you finish 
wrapping the whole hair off just take it off so that way your curls don't be tight but this is the natural curl pattern of it and it's very loose especially up here in this area which I don't mind because I kind of like it a little bit straight up here on some wigs not all but for this particular one I thought it looked cute like this because then I could just add my own little flare at the bottom portion of where I didn't want it to be curled anymore so the lace is not transparent it's a medium brown and it did work out good I did bleach the knots I forgot to tell you guys that and I did pre-pluck the hairline so the hairline is not as bad it's not that bad but the only issue that I do have with this wig is it fits kind of snug like I don't know if I have it really t I do have it like the hooks connecting one another but all around it fits perfect but it just feels like it's not long enough for my head like you know what I'm saying like where it is it might have to do with the hooks but i feel like it could use a little bit more room so if you have like a lot of hair like a lot of hair and it's thick then this might not fit i don't know you might want to just look at the dimensions the sizings of it but to me it just kind of like fit and i had to kind of like pull it down a little bit further like i don't want my hairline of the wig actually on my own hairline because then i won't have no edges and i already got thin edges as it is but yeah the hair is cute it's nice it's first time i ever worked with them i do believe i really think it is and for 293 you know i would expect it to have a lot more curls in this just as my opinion you know what i'm saying but you know the hair texture is soft it did shed a little bit um i just wish that it was a little bit more curly at the end you know so i think like this one would be really easy to flat iron but you just have to really be careful with that too because you don't want to put too much heat to it because eventually the curls in the waves will fall out and being that this one is already loose then honey listen I won't be careful. So I will post all the information below for Bay Hair. Um, yeah, all the information will be posted for you guys below. Let me know what you think. I think like the bleach came out nice. Like, look, the lace do look nice, y'all. Okay. Even though I do have to cut some of the lace off, it still will cute. Hello. So I love you guys. Stay deep and deep delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. Make sure you share with everybody you know. And I'll see you in the next video.